Hello all of you beautiful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com and I want to talk to you today about Bane, the man who breaks bats and backs in equal measure within the DC comic universe, and how he's such a memorable figure. He's incredibly strong thanks to that luminous venom drug coursing through his veins, and uncomfortably smart as well, which I feel that not many people give him credit for, and both combine to make him one of Batman's most lethal opponents. Yet despite both the size of his veins and brains, there are a fair few times that Bane has been made to look like a right Burke, and often by people you might not expect. So let's take a look at some of his greatest embarrassments today, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 characters that have defeated Bane. Number 10, Azrael. Now, technically, this is the first person to defeat Bane, and it's one that likely came as a huge surprise for the big lad, as to him, he'd just broken Batman's back, so to see him apparently back on the scene and now kicking his ass must have been a bit of a shock. Except it wasn't actually juicy Bruce Wayne under the cow, but Azrael, who'd taken up the mantle and was going on a bit of a mental vigilante spree in Batman's place. Now things come to a head when new, but not really, Bats challenges Bane to a showdown complete with a new reinforced bat suit. Bane is completely undone when his venom supply is cut with a flying razor blade from the new suit, but things don't end there. By this point, Azrael is starting to succumb to his bloodlust and begins torturing the helpless Bane while Robin and Commissioner Gordon can only look on in horror. Defeated and broken, Bane begs to be put out of his misery, which finally sees his attacker relent. Bane is left completely defeated at the hands of the newest, if most temporary, Batman, and it's quite shocking to say the least. Number 9. King Snake one of the major aspects of Bane's backstory is that his father was a criminal who escaped from prison, and so Bane, his young son, is forced to live out his childhood in prison to serve out his old man's sentence. Doesn't seem fair if you ask me, but hey ho. Many of Bane's stories concern him either trying to find out who his father is, or hunting down a prospective clue to his whereabouts. The primary culprits are likely a revolutionary, an American doctor, a Swiss banker, or a British mercenary. But it turns out, though, that his real father is villain and master martial artist King snake, complete with awful chest tattoo there. Bane goes to confront his father alongside Batman, and together they put a stop to the terrorist organization, the Cobra Cult. But not before Bane sacrifices himself for Batman by taking a bullet for him. Bane is resurrected later in the Lazarus Pit, but still, on a technicality, his dad gets the win on him for this one. Number 8. Computron Vote Bane! Bane for Mayor! It does seem a bit weird to state that, but it's true. At one time, Bane tried to take control of his home country via democratic election, and even more strange is that he would have likely won if it were not for the actions of Computron, who rigged the election against him. Though technically not a physical defeat in a fistfight or anything, Computron still defeated him by rigging the election. On top of that, it actually set in motion several events where Bane would perform a military takeover of the country, and organization Checkmate would have to send in operatives to investigate. Of course, in the end, Computron was working under the orders of Suicide Squad's Amanda Waller, and Checkmate was actually behind everything the whole time, meaning that in effect, Computron got the double win over Bane, but then lost one himself. His victory was short-lived, as he was burned to death to tidy up a loose end. Number 7. Tommy Jagger during the Infinite Crisis storyline and in the lead up to the Bane for President tale I've just told you about, Bane returns as a villain in Metropolis and kills hero Judo Master by fracturing the man's spine. Now, after Computron rigs the election, the organization Checkmate sends in Agents Fire and Judo Master's son, Tommy Jagger, in to help escort Computron out of the country. Now, during the ensuing antics, Tommy, who debates whether or not to seek vengeance for his father's death, gets the opportunity to fight Bane. Surprisingly, Tommy easily beats Bane, and nearly kills him by plunging his face into fire's green flames, but to honour his father's sacrifice, he spares Bane and tells him that they are no longer enemies before leaving Santa Prisca. It was shocking, but kind of pretty brilliant as well. Number 6. Scandal Savage when Bane joins the group Secret Six, he becomes the father figure to Vandal Savage's daughter, Scandal Savage. Eventually, Bane takes over the group, and it splits into two factions, with Bane on one side and Scandal on the other. The two factions eventually come to blows over how the organization should continue, and Bane has to fight his surrogate daughter in single hand-to-hand -hand combat. But Bane, however, wishes not to harm her and refuses to engage. Savage ultimately forces him to fight and uses her blade to slit his throat. It's a one 
one-sided fight, but one that nearly ended in disaster for the big man. Number 5. Superhero Coalition After the fallout with the Secret Six, Bane becomes, well, more than a little unhinged and forces the group to go to Gotham with the intention to kill Batman's allies in order to break the bat mentally. He chooses to target Robin, Azrael and Batgirl and interrogates the Penguin for information on all of them. Unbeknownst to Bane, however, Penguin sells him out and Bane walks into an ambush where the Secret Six have to fight against a coalition of superheroes comprised of Green Lantern, Batman, Superman's crew, the Justice League, the Bird of Prey and others. Not exactly the pushovers that Bane was hoping for, right? Bane puts up a valiant resistance but against such an overwhelming force, he and his Secret Six are easily beaten. Bane ends the series being tucked away in a Gotham police vehicle. Sad. Number 4. Alfred Pennyworth No, you didn't mishear me, Alfred Bloody Pennyworth is an absolute badass and he has beaten Bane. Well, technically. During the events of the Batman Eternal series of comics, Bruce Wayne's long-suffering butler Alfred is attacked by the villain Hush and injected with Scarecrow's fear toxin. As a result, he's taken to Arkham Asylum shortly before the facility is attacked. Alfred survives the attack and teams up with Bane in order to escape the ruins and find other escaped inmates. And working together, Alfred and Bane head to a satellite bat cave that's located near Arkham. Now, Alfred isn't some regular fool. He knows that Bane is not to be trusted, so he triggers the double cross before the large lad gets a chance and turns on the Batcave security system which renders Bane unconscious. Hey, it's a win in a loose sense, but a win all the same. Number 3. Catwoman Bane has often tried to kick his Venom drug habit in the comics, and most have not ended very well. Case in point, in the DC Rebirth arc, he was trying to give up the juice with the help from Psycho Pirate. Not a name I would trust, but okay, whatever floats your boat. The problem was that in order to pay for this, he had to give his Venom to Dr. Hugo Strange. Again, not a name you'd trust, but anyway. This meant that Bane needed stopping, and so Batman, along with a mixture of heroes and villains, sought out to bring him down. Included in the group was none other than Catwoman, who seemed to betray her party by apparently killing a few of them and beating up Batman in an effort to join Bane. This was, of course, a long double con as she was gathering information for the group, but it worked enough to allow Bane to let his guard down and be taken by surprise by a flying kick. This kick ironically breaks Bane's back and the only way that he can endure the pain is to get back on the venom once more, undoing his original plan to get off the source. I know the feeling, mate, as I've had a pussy break me more than once as well. Just ask your mum about it, and yes, that was my one per list. Number 2. Damocles in Bane Conquest, the eponymous hero, and I use that term very lightly, discovers a freighter full of mercenary soldiers just off the coast of Gotham, he also finds inside the freighter a cache of nuclear warheads. Oh dear. Bane, in a fit of impetuousness, attacks a warehouse that he's been directed to after interrogating some of the local criminals. It's here that he fights Damocles, a dapper-looking lad who actually manages to sever Bane's venom supply, theorizing that doing so will stop the beast. It doesn't. However, then Damocles gets his men to hit Bane with a huge taser which stuns the massive masked man long enough to be captured. And that, my friend, is a pretty embarrassing loss. And number 1. Shredder and the Ninja Turtles Yes please, more team crossovers like this, as where else are you going to see Shredder infecting DC villains with a venom-infused mutagen? It's got everything, I mean Doctor Freeze is a polar bear, Two-Face is a baboon, and Bane is an elephant-human hybrid. Now Batman and the Turtles wind up defeating Shredder, but Bane takes the opportunity to take over the Foot Clan, and with his new powers and access to a venom cocktail, creates a super-powered army of Foot Ninja. Things get so bad by the mid to end of this arc that Raphael and Splinter are sidelined with Raph having a broken back as his Bane's calling card and the Turtles and Batman actually have to enlist the help of Shredder in order to beat this new man monster. It's a brilliant battle and one that eventually sees Bane, Bebop and Rocksteady tranquilized and brought back to the DC dimension. Still though, for a while it was pretty close for all the heroes. And there we go, those were 10 characters that have defeated Bane. I guess you could also say Batman has several times in fact, but I wanted to go on the ones that weren't so obvious. Let me know down below about any others that you might know about that I've missed, as well as whether or not you enjoyed this list. But before we go my friends, I just want to talk about one thing that I hope is not a Bane to you, and that is your mental health. I hope that you are well and I hope that you're doing well in whatever you get up to in life and having a good time of it. But still, if you are struggling with things, then remember, you can ask for help 
help. There is no weakness in asking people for help. And if you want to talk about this or anything else, then you can follow me at RetroJ with a zero over on Twitter. And until then, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.